Hi SRP, Hello. I'm going to do a neuropsychology examination for you today. So shall we get straight into it? Yes, please. All right. So first of all, I'm going to do a compass mentis. So my first question is, what's the day of the week? Friday. And the month of the year? January. What's your favourite meal? Well, there's quite a few. I like a nice butter chicken. I like enchiladas. I think any kind of Indian dish with chicken tikka. And I like the traditional British classics. I like fish and chips. I like a roast dinner. Even pie and mash as well. Excellent. That's good. Very good eclectic taste, haven't you? Very much diverse. Who's your favourite footballer? Past or present. Overall, ever? Ever is Eric Cantona. Who are... Cantona. Right. Kung Fu fighting. Crystal Palace. Yeah. Right. I think apart from I've asked you what the day of the week is and what the month of the year is. Mm. What year are we in? 2025. And I've seen a lot of people still like 2024. Yes. They're in that mode, aren't they? It's the thing is you can write it down. I used to do it all day. I'd be writing twenty twenty four, and then all of a sudden, at the last minute, this is in twenty twenty four. I'd suddenly write down twenty twenty three. Yeah. So far this year, I haven't got into that mode. I've managed to write the correct year every time. Every night is when you write the date. You, a lot of the time, the one you have to stop and think of is the year. Yes. Not so yeah. much the month or the day. It's always no. the year. I agree. Right, now then, I'm going to use some colour cards now. I'm just going to pick them out at random. So the first one, this one is called Robin's Hood. What does it remind you of? A forest at night time. Oh, we've got a cat in here. A dark forest at night. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Minecraft being in one of the forests at night time as well. Right, and what colour would you say it is in real terms rather than... It's a dark pine green, I'd say. All right. Does it help you with any moods or anything? I'd say it's quite a calming. I do prefer the more bright one. The next one is light and fluffy. And again, what colour would you say it is and what does it remind you of? Well, it's light, but it's not very fluffy. <laughs> um, it reminds me of dessert. It's hard it, to say. It's a happy colour. So any specific dessert? It reminds me of... A weak custard that you'd make at home. Mm. Not so much your traditional birds that or ambrosia that comes out of tin, but more softer colour. It also reminds me of a refresher. Ah, no, that's a good one. Mm. I remember refreshers. But it's, it's a happy and friendly colour, yeah. Excellent, so it makes you feel happy. Yeah. The next one I've got, it's called Norwegian Wood. And what does that remind you of? Again, it reminds me of being in, in a forest. And how does it make you feel? 
it makes me feel content. It's almost like you're in the forest or the wood and you can smell it. Um, and I'm just picturing large, tall old trees. So it makes like makes you feel like you're one with nature. Yeah, I'm outdoors. Um, and I do like browns. I think they're lovely colours, especially for decorating. But that's like an outdoorsy one for me. And I'll just do one more, and then we'll move on. This one is called Flamingo Wing. What does that one remind you of? A flamingo, a prawns, a shrimp. Oh. And how does it make you feel? Happy, like I want to go out and do something or explore. Um, warm. It's a warm colour. It makes me feel happy, I'd say. Vibrant. It's an uplifting colour. Excellent. Some good descriptions there. Right, I'm going to tell you three things. I need you to remember these for later on. Mm -hmm. So we'll say the picture, chair, and the glass. Okay. Any specific glass? There are a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a glass. Okay, just picture, chair, and glass. What I'd like you to do now is what you're doing at the moment. I want you to touch your face. So first of all, I want you. I want you to, first of all, touch your face. So if you can put your right finger to your nose. Now your left finger to your left eye. Right finger to your left ear. And left finger to your forehead. Next, I want you to bring both fingers up and touch your lips. And I want you to use your right hand and tickle yourself under the chin. Excellent. Let's do some facial expressions now. So what I'd like you to do is to frown for me. Now, smile. Show me how happy you can really be. Um, very seductive. Forgetful. Excellent. Right, so the next one I want to do, I'm going to give you some sticks to look at if you can tell me what pictures are on there a car elephant a teddy bear a boat a cat a cup horse a duck and a star and out of them which would you say is your favorite i like a star actually is that because you are one Pictures do you see on this one? A horse, a chick, a, it's either a crocodile or an alligator, a butterfly, and it looks like a cat standing up or a fox. Maybe a fox. And what would you say is your favourite on them? I like the butterfly because of the detail, the colours. Excellent. And from top to bottom, what colours are on here? Red, white, green. You've missed one colour. Black background. Yeah. Right, what do you see at the top of there? I see what looks like a woman on an island with a, a palm tree. And if you can read on the back of the top, the, white, the writing in the white. Come see the play. Up is cat, not my and dog for you. To the cat, up dog, and his play. And if I turn it that way, mm -hmm. what film does it remind you of? Alice 
Alice in Wonderland, maybe. Yeah. Well done. I didn't expect you to get that. Right, we'll do a quick eye test now. Check on the vision. So if you can read them letters for me. H E L L O M Y N A M E C H E A P. Now that's your ideal place to read from, isn't it? So I'm just going to measure that. One point four meters. Excellent. Now Nothing. Have, have yourself a drink. Have you noticed these are Haribo cups? I have, yeah. And what sweets are featured on these? Cola bottle and cherries. And out of the two, which would you say is your favourite? The cola bottles. Hmm. I must admit they're my favourites too. Are they? I also like the hearts. Right, so now I've just found some milk trays. Oh, thank you. So if you can look at them and tell me your three favourites on there and what shapes they are. Right, my favourites, I like the truffle ones. I used to like the, uh, the creamy raspberry one or strawberry, I think it used to be. I'd probably say the truffle heart, perfect praline, praline, and the white truffle. And what shapes are them? Last two. The last two. Uh, we've got heart. We've got a swirl, circular swirl. Uh, square present or diamond. Excellent. Diamond there, and an orange segment. Perfect. Right, I've got some filters now to look at. What I want you to do, I'm going to pick them all up and I'll put them back down one at a time. So if you can have a look through this filter, tell me what colour you think it is and how it makes you feel. It's yellow. It's sort of relaxing, but cool. Excellent. So the next one, if you can hold that up, tell me what colour it is and how it makes you feel. That's green. I'd say it makes me feel like I want to go out and do something. Be out as one with nature, I guess. I go for a hike or a walk. Like, a, like on Minecraft in the forest. Yeah. The next one. Ah, purple. Excellent, you've already told me the colour. Again, how does it make you feel? Relaxed. I just want to kick back. Obviously, those nice purple lights that you can get for your room. It's like a psychedelic, happy, relaxed. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. I think someone needs an earlier night. And, and this one now, what colour? Is this ASMR? It's getting to me. I think that's grey. It's hard to look at the white wall. It's, slightly, it's a slight grey. It's yeah. lighter than what it looks. And how does it make you feel? No, I'm not really keen on this one. It just, I wouldn't say it's a sad colour, but it's just kind of a, a non-existent nothing kind of colour. Like it doesn't have any meaning. It's a bit redundant. 
doesn't look a little bit dull being it does grey. Slightly. Because if you think of when it's dusk and how it makes you feel when it's dusk, it's the worst time to drive, for example. Well, it's, it's, you're saying goodbye to the daylight, so you feel a little yeah. bit down, I do. And when it becomes dusk, I start to get a bit of dry eyes as well. Right. Strangely enough. So the next one. Ooh. That's a nice, rich looking colour. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? Happy. That's a lovely blue, that is. I can't tell whether it's royal or navy. It's more royal, possibly. And again, it's similar to the purple. It's like the kind of colour that you'd light your room up with at night when you're relaxing, watching something. Doesn't it remind you of emergency services when you see them flashing down the road? Not really. I know what you mean. That's more of like electric blue, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool, obviously cool, because it's blue, I'd say. But quite relaxing at the same time. So if it's cool, it'd be good for a hot day? But if it was a person, I'd say they've probably got a bit of indifference about them. Right. Last colour. Oh, that's a nice red, isn't it? It's slightly... It's a lovely colour. But when it comes to reds, if they're like this, they're a little bit overpowering, even though it's a warm colour and everything looks nice. It brightens everything up, but is it, that what you're trying to say? It, it's an appealing colour, but it's... I think with reds, if they're too dark, it's just... It's like you're in another world. You look like Carl Simpson. <laughs> Right, going back to earlier, yeah. can you remember the three things that I asked you to remember? Picture, chair, glass. Excellent. And I think that's covered everything today. Right. All right. So I'll get this all assessed for you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.